welcome back to my channel so today I have this Kylie inspired makeup tutorial for you guys that I did have in my one of my recent videos it was for my November favorites it's exactly the same makeup look upset the lip color was different but I did change it to something very very close to Kylie Jenner's lip color so I hope that you guys enjoy and if you guys want to know how to recreate it then just keep on watching so we're going to begin with the eyes and for that I'm going to be using a primer and this primer is by MAC and it's called Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to be applying this all over my entire lid with this brush by Sigma. I forgot the name of it but I have it all linked down below for you guys. And then right after you are done applying that we're going to move on straight to the shadows. So for the shadows I'm using this uh, shadow palette from Too Faced. It's the Chocolate Bonbons palette. And I'm first taking this light brown shade and I'm going to be applying this on my crease back and forth in windshield wiper motions and I am using the Sigma E40 blending brush and this is going to act out as a transition color and it's going to help us once we apply a darker shade on our crease to actually help us blend it out. So just make sure you blend that well nicely into your crease. And then right after that, we're going to go ahead and take this bronzy eyeshadow. It's called Most Elastic Chip. And we're going to be applying this all over our entire lid. It's such a beautiful shade. I am absolutely in love with it. Um, when I first did receive that palette, I couldn't stop using that shadow. Like, it... I, ju I was just going crazy with it. I even wore it for the Bean Boozled Challenge and you guys were telling me how beautiful it was. It honestly looks 10 times much better in person. I swear... It is such a beautiful shade. But now grabbing your blending brush again, we're going to go ahead and make sure that our crease is well blended out and that there are no harsh lines or separation between those two colors. And then we're going to take this darker shadow, which is called Malted, and we're going to be popping this on the outer part of our crease. That way it could give it a more dimension to the eye. I don't really know how Kylie Jenner's uh, eye look was because she is, you know, opening her eyes and it's kind of hard even when you zoom in and everything, but she does have some dimension in there. You could definitely see that so I'm just popping a darker eyeshadow into the crease so I'm just using a very smaller brush and you know lightly blending it out that way it doesn't look too harsh um, she never has anything super intense on her eyes so that's why I'm just taking my time blending everything out but I did notice she did have a little bit of eyeliner and I'm using this gel liner by Sigma it's the Wicked gel liner and I'm gonna be doing a baby wing I'm not really gonna do it super thick or dramatic because she never has anything like that like I said Try my best to do it as you know thin as possible and then right after that I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner and then start smoothing out my uh, wing liner. If you guys do want to tutorial on how to do a wing liner, I'm going to have that link down below for you guys. But once you are done you know, doing your wing liner, now I'm going to take a lighter shade and this one is Cashew uh, Chew. And I'm going to be popping this right underneath my eyebrow. That way it could just give a little bit of highlighter there. She doesn't have a strong highlight or anything. So this one is perfect. And then I'm going to take my blending brush again and then start blending this out. And then right after that, we're going to go ahead and coat our lashes with a little bit of mascara. The one I'm using today is from L'Oreal and it's the Telescopic Harbin Black Mascara. And then I'm going to pop my lashes and I know she always uses the Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. But I didn't have those at the moment and I did find these from Blinking Butte in the Style Samantha that I thought were very, very similar. So I'm just going to pop these on but she usually always wears some very fluffy lashes. So I thought these were perfect. I really think that they're almost similar. But now moving on to our face, I'm going to begin priming it with this primer by Tarte. This one is the Timeless Smoothing Primer. And as you guys can see, I did have a little bit of eyeliner or mascara on my fingers and I was like, what the? <laughs> but for my foundation, I did go with this one from NARS. It's the All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation. No way, I think that came out wrong. I don't know. But I am blending this all over my entire skin with a beauty blender because I find that it just gives you more of a flawless look. And of course, Kylie Jenner has a flawless face, you know. So this is perfect and I love this foundation. It has been one of my favorites. I can't stop using it. I've been using it almost every day now. But for my concealer, I am using this one by Urban Decay. It's the Naked Skin Concealer and it's in the shade Medium Light Neutral. And I'm going to try and highlight with this even though it's close to my skin tone color. But I am blending this out with the beauty blender and just yeah get rid of that <laughs> but yeah just blend that out with the beauty blender trying to you know conceal anything and then for contouring I am going to be doing a cream contour I'm using this wonder stick by NYX and I'm using only the contour side of it and I just fell in love with it right away I am going to contour my nose I mean my nose is not perfect <laughs> so I am going to do a little bit of contouring but to blend that out I am using the beauty blender as well 
But then once I am done blending that out, I'm going to definitely set everywhere that I applied any concealer. So I'm using my translucent powder by Laura Mercier. I was going to try and do the baking method, but then I kind of regretted it. And I was like, you know what? I'm only going to do the baking right underneath my contour. I want that to be popping because obviously the Kardashian and the Jenners, they always have their contour on point and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But to set everywhere that we you know cream contoured i'm going to take the lorac pro contour palette and take the light shade and then just basically apply this right over you know we applied the cream contour and then once you are done setting that we're gonna go ahead and dust off the powder that we applied right underneath our contour and then grab a stippling brush and then start blending everything out so now for my blush i'm using this one by mac and it's called peaches and i'm popping that right on top of my contour and i think this is like the perfect shade because she always uses like a peachy shade and then for my highlight I'm using this one from Gerard Cosmetics in the color uh, Maryland and I love the color of this and I have heard you know uh, her makeup artist that she does her makeup use this on her so I thought you know that would be perfect and then for my bottom lash line I'm using the light shade um, no not the light shade the darker eyeshadow and popping that right underneath my lower lash line and applying a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes and that is all because she literally doesn't have anything else now for the lips, I'm using this one by Ofra and it's in the color Brooklyn. This is so close to her color. Like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, this is like totally a dupe, you know? But I really, really love it and I prefer this one over like the ColourPop Cosmetic one. I haven't tried one of her liquid lipsticks. I don't know how good they are, but... This one I prefer it 100 times better because it actually doesn't dry your lips so badly. But yeah, so once you are done with that, we are all done with this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And with that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Mwah.